What if I told you that the HP bar of yours is actually fake? Well, Wargaming programmed this game in a specific way. First, we need to know what parts you have. You have your aft, you have your nose, you have your whole midsection with torpedo protection build, you have your superstructure and your citadel inside. Uh, that part is only for cruisers, battleships and carriers since DDs and submarines do not possess it. All of those parts together form your ship. So your ship has HP bar of those parts plus on top your hull HP. You still need to take only the half of that whole thing to sink a ship but it's important to know you have those two. HE shells deduct HP from both hull and the part they hit. Two shells did 1848 damage, which means that we did around one third of our alpha on each shell. But now look here, we non pen one, we hit two pens again, and what happened? We did only 1114? Why? As you can see, the nose part went completely black from our fire, which means it's saturated. Therefore, our HE shells did absolutely no damage to the nose part, but still did damage to the hull. HE shells can also cause fire. Fire does not saturate things like HE, it just deals damage equal to percentage of the health. And every single ship, as you can see on this graph, has a certain number of fire protection. The lower the number, the harder it is, uh, is to set the fire. Each ship can have up to four fires, three, four destroyers, on their ship. One on the nose, one on the aft, and two in the midsection. Okay, let's move on to AP. AP has higher alpha than our HE. And as you can see here, we are constantly shooting the nose, dealing over pen damage, which is one tenth of our alpha. But as you probably noticed, we do not care about saturation. We can shoot the saturated part, and we deal just the same damage as we did on the non saturated part. AP shells have three states. They can overpen, dealing one tenth of the alpha like we just noticed. They can pen, dealing around one third of an alpha. They can also hit the citadel of the ship, dealing the same damage as shown on the alpha, 5250. AP shells have that one disadvantage. If shooting at a sharp angle, they can completely bounce off, dealing zero damage. Now. For the torpedoes, torpedoes actually still interact with saturation. Therefore, hitting torpedoes on the nose or the aft deals reduced damage, especially when they are saturated. So, are we supposed to hit the middle? Well, yes, but actually no. <laughs> well, no matter how many tops we hit on the middle, the middle part won't saturate as we're hitting the torpedo protection part of our ship but the damage is still being reduced by the torpedo protection value I'm gonna tell you a secret you need around 33-40% torpedo protection for it to be more worth for you to actually take it on torpedo protection rather than on the nose and the aft that's how this game works buddy torpedoes can also cause floodings you can have up to two consecutive floodings on the ship, one on the nose and one on the aft. The other graphs of the HP loss. The last thing we can damage enemy ships with is just by simply ramming them. And what happens then? Well, both ships take damage equal to the enemy's max HP. There is one exception from this, is this the 5 knots rule. So if you ram enemy ship when both of your speeds combined, so the vectors of the speeds also matters, is lower than 5 knots, the damage will be just incremental over time. The one thing that we can do 
with taking damage is actually heal it back up. This gray area over here indicates how much HP we can recover from our next use of heal, which is a great consumable. Now let's divide the damage types to soft that we can counter with repair party and hard that we need to counter by angling, movements, etc. because we cannot heal them. So uh, the most healable kinds of damage are fires, floods and ramming damage. Then we have the HE which is not 100% healable but it's healable in the greater margin. Then we have the SAP in the middle but a little bit to the side of AP as we cannot heal it as efficiently as HE. AP damage and torpedo damage is very little to no healable depending on the ship you play. Hits to the citadel damage or depending on the ship you play obviously is from no healable to around like 30% we also have one thing, which is the damage control party, which just removes every fire, every flooding, all the module incapacitations, etc. from your ship, with just press of a button. But it comes with one rule, never use it on single fire and flooding. You have no idea how many people I've killed because they just used the DCP on the first fire and they got two floodings, three fires and they just burn. Yeah, they just, they just die a very horrible, painful death after they waste their DCP on one thing. So don't do it. There is only one exception from this rule, is that if you are about to die from a fire, which is like, you know, you're very low on HP, you start burning, basically just use it because you're not gonna have time to use it later. Or that you know for sure you will be undetected and not under fire afterwards. Which means like, uh, you, you want to go to the cover, you get set on fire, you DCP, and the moment the DCP like runs down, you're already behind the cover, so you're not gonna be set by another fire. And here are the list of all the skills, flags, and upgrades you can equip on your ship in order to reduce the fire, flooding time, and hopefully make you survive a little bit longer. There's also that one flag that increases your healing capabilities, which is very nice. And that will be all. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to know a little bit more, here's my previous video that you guys really liked about aiming.